Hello, students of the statistical world. This is Prof Simon. And this is Prof Berger. And today, we're going to be teaching you some statistics. We will start with each theorem first, before doing applications of each theorem. Now, moving on to the theorem. For this theorem, if the AIs, the vectors AI, are mutually orthogonal vectors in V, i.e. every pair of AI where i does not equal j is zero, and all the vectors are non-zero, then the set of vectors are linearly dependent. Independent. Independent. Ooh, what happened to the other part? What is it? We're not cutting it out. This is rule. So, for oh. this theorem, all we need to show that the sum of the ci's and the ai's are equal to zero. And if the only solution to this system of equations is that all the ci's are equal to zero. Well said, Mr. Berger. Thank you, Prof. Simon. We, we begin. Suppose that C1, A1, plus all the length through CK, AK is equal to the, the zero vector. Then, times and through by some other random variable. The vector. vector. <laughs> Prof. Berger, do not forget the transpose of oh. the I'm so sorry, Prof. Simon. Multiplication laws stand valid. <laughs> Thank you. Prof. Simon is always okay. I try my best. From here, we can clearly see that if the aj is equal for all j's not equal to each other, they don't forget the c, they don't forget the c. Therefore, since these cannot be equal to zero for j equals j. Therefore, cj equals zero for all j. Therefore, c1 is equal to c2 is equal to all the rest ck equals zero. Therefore, this set of vectors a1 a2 all the way through ak is independent linearly independent linearly okay guys so as you can see the first proof is done and you can bet your money on it you can bet your house, but you may not bet your car. <laughs> <laughs>